Hey everyone, today, we're diving into an exciting discovery that could revolutionize the way we design and use organic electrochemical transistors, also known as OECTs. These devices are crucial for applications like biosensing and brain-inspired computing, but until recently, scientists were puzzled by a strange lag when OECTs are switched on. Thanks to new research, we now know what's causing that lag, and it could lead to huge advancements in both technology and biomedicine. Welcome to Trendstorm. Chapter 1. What are OECTs and why do they matter? First, let's break it down. What exactly are organic electrochemical transistors or OECTs? These are specialized transistors that allow current to flow but instead of just moving electrons, they also transport ions, charged atoms or molecules. This makes OECTs perfect for bridging the gap between biology and technology, because biological systems, like our brains, communicate using ions, while our electronic devices rely on the flow of electrons. OECTs are key components in many implantable devices, like pacemakers and glucose monitors, and they're also used in biosensors that measure everything from blood glucose to brain activity. However, scientists have noticed a frustrating quirk, when you switch on an OECT, there's a lag before the current reaches its full operational level. But when you turn it off, the current drops immediately. So, what's causing this lag? Chapter 2 Breakthrough Discovery, the two-step activation process. Thanks to a research team led by the University of Washington, we finally have the answer. It turns out that OECTs go through a two-step activation process when they're switched on, and this is what causes the lag. Let's take a closer look at what's happening. When an OECT is activated, the first thing that happens is a wave of ions races across the transistor. After that, charged particles invade the flexible structure of the transistor, causing it to swell slightly. It's this second step that ramps the current up to full operational levels. On the other hand, when the OECT is switched off, the process is much simpler, charged chemicals drop evenly across the transistor which is why the current stops immediately. This discovery is huge because now that scientists understand the cause of the lag, they can design custom-tailored OECTs for a wide range of applications, making them faster, more reliable, and more efficient. Chapter 3. Implications for Future Technology So, why is this important? For one, how quickly you can switch a transistor on and off is critical for almost every technological application. Now that we know OECTs have this two-step activation process, researchers can start experimenting with ways to speed it up or even customize it based on the needs of different devices. For example, if you're designing a biosensor to monitor glucose levels, you might want the transistor to react almost instantly. On the other hand, if you're working on brain-inspired computing, you might need different ramp-up and ramp-down times. This research gives scientists the tools to build OECTs that can be tailored for specific tasks, from measuring nerve impulses in muscles to building artificial neural networks that mimic the way our brains store and process information. Chapter 4. The Role of Materials Another key takeaway from this study is how important the material of the OECT is to its performance. OECTs are typically made from flexible, organic polymers. These are carbon-rich compounds that can easily transport ions. But here's the challenge. The material needs to be flexible enough to allow ions to move freely, but also rigid enough to maintain high electronic conductivity. This balance is tricky to achieve. The team discovered that the structure of the polymer, whether it's more ordered or random, 
can significantly affect the activation lag. This means that future OECTs could be customized not only by adjusting their chemistry, but also by modifying their structure to suit different applications. Chapter 5. A Step Forward for Biosensing and Beyond This discovery is particularly exciting for the field of biosensing. OECTs are already used in devices that track things like blood glucose levels, but now researchers can design even more specialized versions for new applications. For instance, OECTs could play a key role in brain-inspired computation by mimicking the way neurons communicate in the brain. Another exciting possibility is that OECTs could be used to build artificial neural networks, essentially, computer systems that work the way our brains do. This could open the door to entirely new forms of computing that are faster, more efficient, and even capable of learning on their own. The discovery of the two-step activation process in OECTs is a game-changer for the future of bioelectronics and brain-inspired technologies. Now that we understand the cause of the activation lag, we can design faster, more efficient, and customizable transistors that can be fine-tuned for a wide range of applications, from biosensors to artificial intelligence. Source. University of Washington. If you're excited about the future of this technology, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Trend Storm for more cutting-edge science and tech updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.